Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Another Music Wednesdays. Uh, we've already been having a good time. Lots of laughs. Uh, hopefully that will continue. But we're here with uh, Magic Bird, Scott Bruce, and Ben Ezel. Uh, Scott, good to see you. Yeah, thanks for having us here, Barry. I should say Scott uh, worked at the paper for a long time, uh, very active in the local music scene, and uh, kind of helped get this started a little bit, didn't you, with... Uh, I gave you some some folks to call on. When Reach out to. Yeah. That's right. That's you right. and Casey Whatever. Phillips. We mm-hmm. all sort of shared some names, and here we are a little bit a year later. That's right. What do you think of this place? Man, this place is awesome. A little bit different than where we were, isn't it? <laughs> it is awesome here. Yeah, we love being here. We're here at the uh, studio at the Chattanooga Public Library. Thanks to them, as always. Thanks to Dynamo Studios. Uh, they help provide the sound. So, um Ben, thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having us yeah, and having me. We really appreciate it. Well, I want to get into the history of the band here in a little bit, but uh, people watching always like to hear music. Okay. And less, less talk from me. And I, let me say, too, Leslie's not here. It's uh, fall break, so she's somewhere with the kids, but uh, she'll be back. Um, but, yeah, let's start off with uh, some music. What are you going to do first? Uh, this one's called New Year, New Light. All right. It's a new year, new life, think it leans to the right. Lights up room in this house. No, you cannot stop, but get knocked back, get back up. It's a new year, new light, it is on. Coyotes won't let me outside my house. They're crying, it's driving me. I stepped out, showed no fear, and now they're long gone from me. It's a new year, new light is on. It's a new year, new light, the same love that brights my lights up the whole wicked sky. No, you cannot stop us, you knock down, you back up. It's a new year. New light is on Well, the past life last night Now we're on to the next It's shining, finding us new But we cannot shed scars If we linger in the dark It's a new year, new light is on It's a new year, new light Lights of the whole wicked sky. No, you cannot stop us. You get knocked down, get back up. It's a new year, new light is on. No, you cannot stop us. You get knocked down, get back up. It's a new year, new light is on. It's a new year, new light is on. All right. Nice. Very nice. Well, thank you. <laughs> so tell us about uh, Magic Birds. Here, what I remember, you came by my desk, what, three years ago maybe? Yeah. And uh, said, hey, check out this song, what, on SoundCloud or somewhere? And, God, I uh, can't remember where it was. It wasn't SoundCloud. Uh, maybe we, when we first decided to put our music out there, we created a website, put it on iTunes, put it on Spotify, like all at the same time. Uh, I think that was 2000, May of 2015. But what I remember is it was pretty much just a hobby, right? I remember you saying, it, it, we don't plan to play out. And we, it's very kind of <laughs> low-key, and then all of a sudden, wham, you were playing a lot of places. So, Well, I'd still say uh, <laughs> that it is kind of a hobby for us. Uh, we both have other jobs. Uh, it's a hobby we take seriously, you know? Yeah, um, yeah, no. We play about, uh, I guess we average about once a month we play. Something like that, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's a little bit more. Uh, I feel like lately we've played like four shows, but then there were like a couple months before that we didn't play at all. So. That's right. And it's more difficult because I don't live here anymore. I live down in Alabama. Right. Uh, but we met here when I was living here, when my wife and I were living here. And uh, we started playing music when I was living here. And then <laughs> my wife and I moved to Alabama and we really wanted to continue. So 
we play when we can, when I can make it up here, and we play uh, shows when we can, too. So. I mean, we mostly play in Chattanooga uh, because Ben won't book us a show in Alabama. <laughs> But I would, I'd be willing to drop down there if he gives us some Alabama gigs. But are you on the run down there? You got people looking for you? <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> my wife got a job down there that uh, she could not refuse. So that's why we're down there. Um, Still don't explain why you won't play out in public down there. <laughs> well, I won't pry. No, no we haven't. Right. We haven't played in Alabama. He's going to try to get us a show down there soon. I think, right? That's right. I would I would love to. We were talking to a guy from uh, the other night from Florence, Alabama, which has got a lot of musical history in that area, up in the kind of the north uh, western corner sure. of Alabama. I'd love to play there. There are lots of nice little places to play there. Um, that'd be a lot of fun. So hopefully that can happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right. let's, let's hear some more music. I want to point out everything uh, you guys are doing today are originals, right? Yes, yeah, all originals. We've got cool. one album out. Um, called The Music of Benjamin Bruce. Uh, we put that out in 2015. So we still play a lot of those songs, but we've got a whole another album's worth of music, and we're actually recording right now with our buddy Nick Lutzko. Yep. So that's actually, the uh, New Year, New Light is actually the first song we finished, and it sounds so good. Nick's putting like a full band feel to the album, and so he's playing a lot of instruments, and as you know, he's a great musician. Pretty talented He's a great guy, producer, yeah, too. And then we've got <clears throat> Danimal is playing... Uh, pedal still on right. that song. It on New Year, so New Light, he does. Yeah, that sounds great. Cool. Play something, and then we'll talk some more about that. Okay. I want to get a little more into that. Hi, Reliance. Sure. Reliance. That's, That's where, where it all went down. down. That water, it was flowing above solid ground. If I uh, was running through our blood, we made it down that river all sunny. Oh, we made off with the riches. We made off out like these. We disappeared like bandits up into the woods so deep. Reliance, that's where it all went down. That water it was flowing above solid ground. In triumph, we made a few mistakes. We did not cover up our tracks before we crossed the lake. Our final breath of freedom there was right before we reached the bank there waiting on the snake. Oh, they locked us up in handcuffs, they shackled up our feet, they hauled us straight to county and our cable was complete. Reliance, that's where it all went down. That water it was flowing above solid ground. We never thought it in like this. I felt like it was yesterday. I felt my mother's feet. And now I'm sleeping on the floor. If I had to do it over, I would have been wrong. Oh, I made a couple wrong turns. I took but now the fun is over and I've got no place to hide. Reliance, that's where it all went down. That water it was flowing above solid ground. That water it was flowing above the solid ground. All right, cool. Good stuff. I love the harmonies. Thank you. Was that, um, how, how did you guys discover that you sort of had that? Was it accidental or did you just one day say? Like, uh, so Ben and my wife, Mary, worked together at, um, what was the name of school? At Ivy Academy. Ivy Academy, yes. Yeah. Ivy Academy, they were both teachers. And <laughs> I don't know how that school is now because neither one of them worked there now, but they didn't have school on Fridays. So the teachers would get together just about every Thursday night. Um, and so they'd take turns, like we'd go to this restaurant or we'd go to this person's house, and they ended up at our house a few times. And so Ben and I had been in a conversation, we realized we were both like music nerds. Um, so when they came over one day, you don't consider yourself a music nerd? <laughs> You're just a nerd? <laughs> just a nerd. <laughs> uh, so they came over one day, and uh, I, I pulled out my guitar. I said, Ben, let's play a song. And we had talked about we both love Radiohead, which our music sounds nothing like Radiohead, but... 
Um, now we actually started playing that song. We, uh, the song Lucky uh, was off of OK Computer, and uh, we were like, hey, this sounds good. Let's try to do something with it. Because I, I, was, I was in two bands in college, um, but it had been like 10 years since I'd been in a band. And Ben had played live, you know, every once in a while, open mics and stuff. Um, and But at the time, neither one of us were doing anything. And uh, we both got along real good. Uh, I know this is going to sound, Ben's one of the nicest guys I've ever met. So, you know, he's easy to get along with. And you need that in somebody you play music with, I think. Um, so, so anyway, we played that song. And then we tried to get back together and learn some more covers. And we found we were not not that good at playing <laughs> covers. Well, I think the, the song that we were trying to cover was difficult for us in a few ways and then eventually I think we just gave up on that and uh, Scott had a song or two that he had had in his head since college and uh, had not really had anybody put any music to it and so I strummed some chords and then we just started working out a couple of original songs so so yeah instead of trying to learn this impossible cover that we were trying to do I mean and still to this day like we played a show the other night where we have uh, I think 25 songs in our set and there's only like four or five of those covers. Most of them's original. I think we just feel more comfortable playing original yeah. music. Yeah, yeah, I feel the same way, yeah. Yeah, I understand that. All right, well, I want to ask you about the local music scene here in a minute, but uh, p please play another one and uh, then okay. we'll talk. What's the next one? Um, do you want to play Stay With Me? Yeah, let's do that. So this song is about uh, a few characters we've met, at least I've met around town over the years, and so you may recognize some of the names. Get up, but I still get 
<laughs> yeah, cool. Do you recognize anybody in that song? A few, yeah, I love that. Uh, the flower might last an hour. It's, uh, yeah, Sandy. Chico was the flower guy when I was uh, oh, really? hitting the bars pretty heavy. But yeah, I think Sandy took that from him. But uh, yeah, it's, I'm glad you played that because that's one Are of the things I wanted to ask. I am, I'm very glad. Um, one of the things that we talk about a lot on here is the changing music scene and the, the burgeoning uh, music scene which is why we do this, what we do every week. Uh, you've been active in it. You're bored at Soundcore, right, which is the local uh, promotion uh, outfit, right, organization yeah. to promote local artists. and. Uh, well, I, I mean, it's to promote the local scene in general. You know? Scene and, uh, and uh, basically um, be an outlet, a, a one-stop place for people. Right. Um, you also write for Chatter, right? Right, still write your music column, sort of look ahead, what's coming, and right. check this out, and you do a thing for WTC too, yeah. right? So, so at the bottom of the Chatter article, I'll put a playlist together, mixing new music that I've heard with people coming to town, and I've been doing that for like six years now, five or six, and then a little over a year ago, I pitched the idea to WTC to let me do a radio show. Yeah. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. I've been doing that every year. And the best part of it is I don't do it alone. I do it with Richard Wynnum, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah, Richard's the man. Um, <laughs> but it's what's neat to me about it is this sense of collaboration that has really taken off in town in the last, I don't even know, five to eight years, I guess. Yeah. There's always been talented musicians sure. here. And there's always been collaboration, but there's always been sort of tiffs and silos or whatever you do your thing right. i'm gonna do mine but that seems to have gone away here um lately i think so i mean and i'm not from chattanooga so i can't speak on it fully as much as you can but uh i think i've been here seven and a half years and obviously there were local musicians here when when i moved here but i didn't feel like the scene was like it's not doing near as much as it's doing now you right. know um we only had a couple venues right now we've got tons of venues i mean we've got new ones opening up lots of a lot more opportunities uh, a lot more creative opportunities is the one thing i would say there aren't traditional nightclub types there's jj's but like yeah. danimals playing at feed and right. you know and and uh, all those sorts of things uh puckets is offering right so there's all kinds of different uh we got the new venue opening at the jump park and yeah have you checked out i haven't been yet but the spot on Brainerd, where I think right around there where the comedy catch is. I know, used to be. Of it. yeah, they were uh, somewhere right in there. Yeah, it's, right, it's exactly where it is. Um, Grand Falloon, I mean, Grand Falloon, and, and yeah, and they're not the you know, music starts at nine o'clock, plays till three in the morning, right. they're a little bit different. Um, so that's good. And you mentioned you're working with Nick and Danimal. Uh, yeah. everybody that comes in here seems like they're working with four or five mm -hmm. other people, so that's right. That's well, Nick's really producing cool. our album, uh, but, you know, obviously we're not a full band, so uh, we kind of wanted this album to be kind of a full band sound because the first one was stripped down like what you see today. And that's what you normally are going to see when you see us live, but I, I don't know. I just We kind of wanted an album that, like, you know, 40 years down the road we could still rock out in our car, you know? Um, and I just think that's a good full band sound, so Nick's doing that. And we plan on having different musicians in town, you know, sit on certain songs like um, like the bluegrass song Reliance. I think we're going to try to get Randy Steele to play Randy, banjo on that one. He's so, so good. I know. So we got some uh, good ideas. And, and, and it's true, like you said, like so many musicians work together. Like TJ. I mean, he put his yeah. band together. He had like the Chattanooga All-Stars on it, you know? Yeah, TJ Griever. And Jonathan plays with a lot of people. Right. And Tyler plays with so a lot of people. Many. Randy people, plays yeah. with three or four bands. Mm -hmm. and. Yep. Uh, does his solo stuff, so I, I don't know. Dakari, Dakari's playing with like I five think he's bands. Like Sixty-five or six. <laughs> um, that's yeah. different. And that's neat, and I see a lot more bands with albums. Yeah, uh, which is also which is also great because when I started, that was sort of the divining line. If you didn't have a, an album, we weren't going to write a story on you right. because it legitimized you, and and now everyone does. But I don't. I think it's great. I don't think it diminishes. And it's so all. much easier to make an album now, exactly. too. That's true. And, uh, <laughs> a good one. And Brett, Brett Nolan's working with a ton of people up at the Soundry, too. I mean, yeah. he's got a great facility up there. From what I've heard, I need to check it out. Uh, everybody says it's awesome. And there's this place. I know, right? Mm -hmm. Which, awesome. by the way, uh, is becoming more and more available for adult programs. It's When it opened, 
I don't, I don't even remember when we opened, when we first started, but uh, it was primarily a teaching tool for young people. And now that they've kind of gotten into it, there's some more adult programming. So if you're interested, check it out. Um, it's an unbelievable place. So yeah, it is. The city's lucky to have it. Um, uh, I, I think the cool thing was is a lot of you know younger people were around this place, students, and they came up and introduced themselves and threw out their hand for handshake. And I'm like, they're wow, killing this it, is crazy. This the is kids awesome. are great. I um, yeah, I don't know if people understand. We talk about it every week, but the people running the board are interns. Right. Uh, they're teenagers, and uh, they're working with Dynamo Studios, and they're learning how to do this. So awesome. we're hoping to start doing similar with video. Uh, maybe some multi-camera type stuff again for opportunities. So, um, anyway, let's talk. Should keep somebody's phone. Is It'll go. Out. I think that is actually my. Oh, is it yours? It's, it's, it's going to go case. off here in a second. Yeah, it's a buzzing guitar case. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's play another one, and then we'll talk about where people can find you, and uh, then we'll. Have what? you got? Do uh, you want to do rain coming down? Yeah, we could do that. One. Yeah. So. This is a kind of a newer song we've just recently added to our uh, to our playlist, and it's a song we've been working on for like I don't know um, three years, I think. Well, kind of. I mean, you have you brought it up. You said I kind of like I've got this little part right here, and I thought it was all right. We never could get any music to it really, and then he brought this thing yeah, out right here. Let me, Ben was never interested <laughs> in the song until, until I, got I bought to play this, the... <laughs> and he gets to play like something he's never seen before. And so, um, so this is rain coming down. All right. Well, I thought you were gonna play it. No, Ben's gonna play it. He, okay, you bought it and he took it. From <laughs> yeah, it. I that's like right. <laughs> rain coming down outside. Rain coming down outside 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 Lord, won't you please go and stop the rain? It's washing these rivers high. Wash away my corn and my sugar cane. Might wash me away tonight. Rain coming down outside, Lord. Rain coming down outside. Rain coming down outside, Lord. Rain coming down outside. Rain, rain, go away, we pray for the rain Now wash away everything that we've been praying for Lord, have mercy down on my soul Rain coming down outside, rain coming down outside Rain coming down outside, rain coming down outside Lord, won't you please go and stop the rain it's washing these rivers high Wash away my corn and my sugar cane Might wash me away tonight Rain coming down outside, Lord Rain coming down outside Rain coming down outside, Lord Rain coming down outside Rain, rain, I must admit we pray for the rain to be heaven sent. Now the flood water's creeping right up to my door. Rain, go away and don't come no more. Rain coming down outside, rain coming down outside. Rain coming down outside, rain coming down outside. Lord, won't you please go and stop the rain? It's washing the rivers high. Wash away my corn and my sugar cane. I wash me away at night. Rain coming down outside, Lord. Rain coming down outside. Rain coming down outside, Lord. Rain coming down outside. All right. One of the things one of the things we like to do is challenge those uh, same teenagers and I bet we did with that. <laughs> yeah, That's maybe so. <laughs> That's good. We'll see what they did. That's fun though. <laughs> yeah, it is a fairly loud little instrument. Uh yeah. It's cool. It makes the song though, didn't it? That's right. And and like we had said before, that was something that I, Yes, I'll be completely honest, Scott. I was never that interested in playing that song until he said, until he said, well, why don't you just try it with this thing? And I said, okay. 
And so we played the, got it in the key that we wanted, and uh, and it changed it completely. There, yeah, it worked. There you go. Now it's one of Ben's favorites. <laughs> <laughs> well, he gets to do the the thing there. Um, you guys have a show tonight, right? We do. Uh, we're at Revelry Room tonight, uh, opening up for Head for Head for the Hills. They are a postmodern bluegrass band out of Fort Collins, Colorado. Really good band. I think it's a four-piece string band. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's good stuff. Um, I don't know that they've ever been to Chattanooga, but I, I checked them out and they're really good music. And they've done a really good job promoting their tour too. So hopefully we have a good turnout tonight. Um, doors at eight. We go on at nine, and uh, they go on at ten. Very cool. Where else can uh, people find you? So our websites, we are magicbirds.com. That's um, not a clothing store. No. <laughs> <laughs> if you look that up. Team tried to tag a, glo- tag a clothing store earlier. It may or may not have come up. <laughs> it may or may not have come up. <laughs> so we are magicbirds.com. Um, our Facebook is we are magicbirds. Our Instagram is we are magicbirds. Um, and you can get our album on iTunes, Amazon, Spotify. Mm-hmm. It's called The Music of Benjamin Bruce. It's about two years old now. Yeah, something like that. Um, but it may and, still be new to a lot of you. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. It, it, it may very well still be new to that's, a lot of you out there. That's a good line. There. I remember um, that. <laughs> and like Scott said, we're working on a new one uh, that's going to – we've got a lot of uh, – Really good songs for it, and it's going to sound a lot different. Like the first one, as he has said before, uh, is just me and him and a guitar and some hand clapping. And um, I play this harmonic on one song. You do yeah. play harmonic on one song. Are we going to see the, the? No, that. Oh well, on this next on one, this the one we're doing now, we will. Yeah, yeah we'll yeah. see ben that. Then we'll get that to play the nut shaker right. on the new album. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, love it. <laughs> so yeah, so we're working on it. Um, I think we're not, it'll be done by the beginning of the year. I okay. hope so. Yeah, I hope so. All Depending right. on like like I said, we're working with Nick Lutzko. Uh, a lot of it depends on how often I can get up here and we can. Uh, and Nick's crazy busy too. Him. Yeah, that's right. I mean, also, he's working on yeah. a new album. He's doing a lot of super deluxe stuff. He's got a full time job right now. Mm. So uh, yeah, it's just fitting it into everyone's schedule. I understand. And don't don't rush it. No, no. Well, we wanted to at first, and then we realized that wasn't going to happen because we yeah. started working on this what like March or April. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. And I, all the, every time we go, I have a great time, and I feel like it's very productive. It's just uh, we just don't get in there nearly as much as we want yeah. to. So yeah. yeah. All right. Anything else you guys want to mention? Uh, well, um. Put me on the spot there. Well, I mean, your Christmas <laughs> wish list or any, I mean, you know, I did you know if you had any other uh, shows. You know, or, you know. Talk, we were talking about the music scene here. And something else that's blew up recently is the hip hop scene here. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I, that's uh, maybe next week's guest or the okay. week after. That's my, uh, that's what I'm shooting for. I'll Man, it's make sure it's working. But, talented, uh, talented. There's a lot going on that i don't think people realize and that's why we wanted to do this every week Mm -hmm. and uh i have been very thrilled whatever surprised if that's the right word at the variety Mm -hmm. i mean i knew we wouldn't have any trouble finding somebody perform every week but the variety has been from opera to bluegrass to hip-hop I mean, it's all over the place. So yeah, it's really I know that's, cool. That's kind of been a conversation before. Like Chattanooga doesn't have a signature sound. Like you know, Nashville's got country, you know, bluegrass in Kentucky or color. I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't. I don't think that matters. I think it's kind of cool that we we have so much great music from all different types of genres. I, you know? I totally agree. We've both sat on panels where we've had that discussion, and and. Thankfully, the powers that be said, let's don't try to force something that's right. not there. So I think it'd be kind of boring if everybody played the same type of music. I agree. You know? I, the variety is what's fascinating yeah. and fun. So thank you, guys. Ben, thank Scott. You. Yeah. What are you going to play one more and take us on out of here, right? Yeah. We'll give you chase. Sure. Yeah. yeah. This one's off our first album. This is called The Chase. We always close our shows with this, Barry. So uh, Generally, yes. Perfect timing. I strive to please. Perfect time to shake. If you're ever in Chattanooga, look me up. I'll be dodging through the mountains, riding around in a big old truck. I hope that you can find me, cause I'll be running out of love. 
If you ever in Chattanooga, look me up. Well, I rambled in the lowlands, I rested in the pines, I gambled on the coastline, and I had a real good time. I fled up to the mountains, cause this girl was on my trail. I owe her lots of money, and I can't go back to jail. She's come real close to catching me at least two or three times. But I dip back in the woods, and I lose her every time. And I can't tell if she'll turn me in or kill me dead herself. This running round's getting real bad for my health. If you ever in Chattanooga, look me up. I'll be up on Lookout Mountain, riding around in a big old truck. I hope that you can find me, cause I'll be running out of love. If you're ever in Chattanooga, look me up. I was sitting at the table, I was losing every hand. I reached into her pocketbook and pulled out another grand. I waited till she turned away so she couldn't see. I was flirting with disaster Cause this girl was hard to read She turned back to the table Said let's have another round But she reached into her purse And there was nothing to be found And I saw the flaming in her eyes And knew that they'd be more So I turned around I tailed it out the door If you ever in Chattanooga Look me up I'll be riding through the mountain Riding around in a big old truck you can find me, cause I'll be running out of love. If you're ever in Chattanooga, look me up. All right, man, I'm gonna break it down for you. Ready? I'm ready for you to break it down. Now I'm strung out on Stringer's Ridge, on the lookout for a way. How to get myself up out of this mess before I'm elder and gray. I'm searching for a signal, I'm looking for a sign. Every time I think the coast is clear, that woman's right behind. Maybe I should take the river, cause she surely lose my scent. But I can't afford a boat, cause every dime I stole has been spent. And I really did it this time, guess I get what I deserve. Should settle down, stay running around with her. If you ever in Chattanooga, look me up. I'll be up on Signal Mountain, riding around in a big old truck. You can find me, cause I'll be running out of love. If you ever in Chattanooga, look me up. If you ever in Chattanooga, throw me a line, cause I'm in a deep, dark rut. If, if you're ever in Chattanooga, better look me up. Last right. All right. All right, Magic Birds. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Another fun week. Thanks. <laughs>